Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Uh, I just had a YouTuber's pet peeve. Uh, just, I won't say it ruins your whole day, but I would say it ruins about your good hour, hour 30. Record this whole video just to realize I didn't record nothing. I didn't get not, nothing. So I watched the video, did all that talking, for no reason but anyway hopefully we're gonna try this again on a different video that's one thing that's one thing i don't do if i mess up and i don't record a video i'm not gonna go back and re-watch the video i already seen it. it's not a reaction I'm telling y'all i don't you're gonna get some real reactions over here i don't do nothing fake i'm not gonna do nothing fraudulent when it comes to these reactions i actually like doing it so and you get the best reactions when they're genuine. You can tell when somebody's faking it. But anyway, let's try this again. Ah, close calls caught on camera. I'm not gonna hold y'all too long. We gonna get to it. Let's just go. <laughs> I'm frustrated. All right. never know what's going to happen to you the minute you step out of your front door. The truth is, no true. matter how prepared we think we are, dangers will always be present in our lives. And sometimes, the only things that let us live to see another day is some quick thinking and a bit of luck. Today, we take a look at seven terrifying moments that were just a little too close for comfort. You have to be pretty unlucky to be struck by lightning. Bro, and for one boy, luck may have been the one thing that saved his life during a heavy storm in Posadas, Argentina. In 2017, Carolina oh, Couture whipped up turned into terror for the mother and her unnamed son. But why are you outside in the rain like that anyway? You can hear the horrified screams of his mother as she films the lightning bolt narrowly missing her son and illuminating the whole yard with dazzling light. Miraculously, however, while a nearby fence was set on fire, Couture told local media that her son was unharmed. It seemed luck was truly on the boy's side that day. Not only did he miss being hit by lightning by mere feet, the cement rim around the pool probably saved his life as well by blocking residual current. It goes to show that we can never know when disaster might strike, and in the middle of a raging thunderstorm, well, it's always best to stay inside. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Why are you outside? I'm Maybe because y'all could call me. I'm not, I don't want to consider myself boring. I consider myself cautious. I'm not about to. If it's pouring down right now, if it's a light little, mm. feel me, I might be outside. But if it's pouring down rain, I'm not outside in no raincoat, in the grass, with an umbrella in the in the water for no reason. I'm. Why? But even though you were out there, you did that. I wonder what kind of mental. That has to be traumatic, man. That has to leave some type of, I wonder what kind of mental trauma that leaves. Do you act the same with thunderstorms? Do you have like a fear of thunderstorms now? You could be 100% all right, but I don't know. I just think there gotta be something. I know I wouldn't be outside for the next week. Anyone who's ever had a best friend has no yeah, doubt things way this. too far as they walked down the street. Everything seems fine until suddenly one of the girls shoves the other one to the side, causing her you... to fall right at the wheels of a moving bus. Why would you do the that? The wheels come frighteningly close to the girl's head, but amazingly she was uninjured aside Why from the Why would you bruises. do that? The friend who did the pushing seems to realize instantly the severity of what she's done. It's only by sheer dumb luck her friend survived this impulsive prank. The two girls share a hug and walk off together, but while the friends seem to have put all this behind them, the Polish authorities were not so forgiving. 
the near disaster ended up costing the pusher 70 euros in fines, around 77 US dollars, with the police even seeking possible jail time for causing a- Nah, 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 lock her up. No, no, why would you, that would be an instant fade. Oh my goodness, why would you do that? That's playing too much, that's not cool. You almost cost me my whole entire life trying to play around for ha ha he he jokes that nobody's even going to see it's like you wasn't even recording you didn't even know nobody would know this would happen if it wasn't like for this security camera that's playing too much why would you do that that's not cool that's not funny i sound so much like my dad i gotta stop that but why would you do that that's not we be out we be out there fighting for real that's not have to pay with her life. Nah, we're not cool no more you done lost a friend. We are not cool no more. Nah. Everyone Don't even come knows around me. Like always <laughs> look both ways before crossing the street. But kids aren't man, always the pictured at this just, next man. harrowing moment. A school bus lets off a group of five young children on the right side of a highway. They all start to go their separate ways, with One two of the children the hurrying to cross the road without checking for oncoming traffic. Kiss, man. Oh! Luckily for the boy, the driver who took the video alerted the truck by honking their horn and flashing their lights. The semi truck driver manages to hit the brakes just in time you and narrowly misses life, running the man. child over by mere feet. Children, Thanks to man. the driver's quick thinking and the trucker's. Ow! This kid. I don't know where they at, but if I have little kids like that, I'm not even trusting my other child to walk my child across the street. I'm out there. Unless, if I can be, if I can be. I know jobs, you have things like that where you may not be able to be out there. But if I can physically be out there and my children have to cross the street to get home, I'm out there. I'm outside at the bus stop waiting. I'm at the bus stop waiting. Now, I don't know what's going on if they have... They may, their parents may not be able to be out there and watch them or help them. So they have the other, the older child helping the younger child cross the street. But for reasons like that, I've seen too many instances with kids. I've never seen a kid get ran over by uh, in a bus situation. But I've seen so many instances where it's been close calls like this of kids almost losing their lives. I've been on the bus seeing kids almost lose their life. I've been outside getting off the bus, seeing kids run across and yeah. I'm walking my kids across the street, bro. I'm, I'm out there waiting. If I can, if I could physically be able to do it, I, if I, even if I gotta take my lunch break and, and go out there and wait, I'm gonna be out there. I don't know. Kids, they don't. I don't know. Kids are kids. They just don't think sometimes. Even quicker reflexes. Nobody was just running that day. Hopefully, the boy learned an important lesson. You can never be too careful just when running. crossing a busy road. Many YouTubers put themselves in interesting situations to entertain and educate their fans, and sometimes they capture some pretty scary moments. Kyle Lamar was a popular YouTuber and demonstrations on for his 6 million subscribers. In January 2013, he uploaded this video of him testing out a DRD Paratus 18, also known as a suitcase gun. You don't need any tools to assemble it, everything is just hand tight. So there aren't any special wrenches to keep up with, no Allen keys, anything like that. Dimitri quickly assembles the gun and shows off its accuracy and firepower by shooting soda bottles and concrete. To show off how impressive the gun really is, he takes aim at the door of an old pickup truck. Why? Things almost immediately go awry when the truck explodes and a large piece of metal comes flying toward him, missing him by inches. Okay, so one last thing. I figured we couldn't make a video with such a high-powered rifle. I was blowing up a truck, so let's get a nice big explosion. Maybe a little shrapnel going. Stupid. That was stupid. While Dimitri's accent is fake, the look of shock on his face is certainly not. But ever the professional, so Dimitri stupid. takes a deep breath hides his horror and continues his presentation to the camera, never once breaking character. Okay. Dimitri. Maybe a lot of shrapnel. Well, I really like this rifle, I've got to say. Yeah, like put I said, it up. it's so compact, you can fold it up, stick it anywhere, but 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always, have a nice day. You almost lost your life, huh? I'm not blowing up nothing. I tell y'all that now. I'm not blowing up nothing. Driving in heavy rain is never dumb. ideal, but trying to maneuver slippery roads while riding a motorcycle can be downright dangerous. In 2015, a couple in Thailand inadvertently captured the terrifying moment in which they almost lost their lives. The unnamed man rides his motorcycle down a slippery road while his girlfriend hangs on behind him. It's raining very hard and the roads are so wet the water seems to even form waves on the highway. As the boyfriend speeds up, he Why? suddenly loses control of the motorcycle, causing it to slip out from underneath them. Why are you speeding up? I don't want to see... Stupid, stupid. And you would never drive me again, nowhere else. I don't care if we're on a scooter, a car. Speaking of rain, it's raining right now and it's raining hard. It is raining so hard outside, what's gonna happen? Anyway, stupid. Never, you never drive me anywhere again. That would, why would you speed up? I, like I said, I'm not boring, I'm cautious. When it rains, like I remember one time, where was I going? I think I was driving back to Atlanta. I was driving back to Atlanta. And it's like, I just, I, I, I ain't never seen it rain so hard like this before. And it's like, I just hit a wall, boom. I'm driving clear, boom. Pouring down rain, I can barely see, I'm, I'm, I lost control of the car for a little bit. I, just for a split second. Cars are just whizzing by. I'm still going about 55. And cars are just shoom, shoom, shoom. And I'm like, this is... I have on my... I didn't have on my hazard lights, but I had on... It was so heavy that I had on my... um, What's it called? The brights. The, what it was called? The real bright lights. Had it on. And I'm like this. And I have fairly good, I have fairly good eyesight, 2020. But I'm like this, and I'm eyes bug eyed just looking, and cars just shoo, 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 shoo. crazy thing is, get through the rain. I remember the car whizzing by me. Boom! It's in it's it's all in the grass and crashed. I guess it hydroplane. I don't know exactly what happened, but I remember the exact car going and just shooting by me. And in my head, I'm like, this is so stupid. Why would you drive so fast in the rain? And I know you can barely see. About five minutes down the road, he in the grass somewhere. He was over there. I was like, wow. I don't understand why people drive so fast in the rain. I don't. And I, I don't. With vehicles and cars, I don't. That. It gets under my skin because that, that's you can put anybody's life at danger, not just your own. You can put other people's lives at danger. It's just not something I don't mess with. I don't, that's not safe. The that's not smart. The boyfriend immediately takes the woman's hand as the couple goes sliding down a shockingly at least he, at least, long stretch at least he of the road. Took care of her, Without though. missing a beat, he helps guide her body toward the muddy side of the yeah, highway. At least got her. They finally come to a stop, yeah, and it quickly becomes apparent nowhere. the woman's helmet was too big for her. Even with their gear, she probably could have been very seriously hurt had the man not thought to pull her along with him. Though the girlfriend is visibly shaken by the ordeal, the two of them appear to be completely unharmed. Luckily for the couple, there didn't appear to have been any oncoming traffic that they could have crashed into. Hopefully, the man will take this as a lesson to yeah. never speed in the middle of a rainstorm. Yeah, dummy. Check this out. I'm going to show you how yeah. I afforded this car. Okay, you ready? All right, a hundred and eighteen dollars. And wants to jump attached to an exposed situation. It takes so long to On October nineteenth, two thousand fourteen. 
Forrest Troy Pullman filmed what should have been a routine tandem skydive over a drop zone in Thailand that nearly turned into a disaster. With his friend's wife in tandem, he jumped from the plane and for a few moments, everything appears fine and the woman is clearly enjoying herself. Okay, that's that's when Pullman notices their plane diving 180 degrees right toward him and his passenger. The plane flies so closely to them they very narrowly miss being struck by its wing, propeller, and tail. Unfortunately for them, the, the plane? plane's wing did end up clipping Pullman's drogue and bridle, making it impossible to deploy the main parachute. Who was flying the plane? The two go down in a terrifying freefall. Thankfully, Pullman is able to deploy the reserve chute, and both he and the passenger eventually make it to the ground safely. Who was flying the plane, though? Pullman later stated in the comments of this video, On this jump, the pilot messed up in a big, big way. We're all very lucky. If the wing did hit us, it could have crippled us or killed us easily. The impact could have ripped the wing off, possibly killing the pilots, who also got very lucky. Pullman also said he stopped working at that drop zone and had to take some time off from skydiving after Yeah, I incident. bet you he did. Who's the pilot? Like, what are you thinking? What are you doing? Such thing as being too got closer than they ever expected to a family of bears. On the first day of their five-day long hunt, they set up some bait near a trail overlooking a few black bears. A sow and her two cubs come by, and the men watch them for about an hour. Just as they believe the family is about to retreat, the sow turns back and runs straight toward the camera and Caleb. The mama bear tries to jump on Caleb and attack him, though she didn't realize Shannon was there too. He kicks at the bear and shouts to scare her off for a moment, but she charges back a second time at full speed. Go! Hey! Hey! With lots of shouting and a knife, the men managed to scare the sow off for good this time. Caleb said, if we were not together that night, we do believe she wouldn't have stopped trying to maul one of us. Luckily, aside from one of the men suffering a cut finger, everyone managed to get away without harm, mama bear and cubs included. <laughs> Which one of these close? Hey, uh, I'm gonna share an opinion that I don't think is real popular. Y'all might get mad about it. I don't care, but I'm not a huge fan of hunting. Like going out and people going and hunting animals and things like that to mount on their wall and stuff like that. I think if you, you get what come with it, that's that's what comes in my head. You get what comes with it. So I don't really have a whole bunch of. Uh, I don't really have a whole bunch of sympathy for you. So if the, if the bear gets you, the bear gets you. You shouldn't have been out there messing with it. Even though y'all wasn't really messing with it, y'all was at a safe, di safe distance. I just, I'm not a huge fan of hunting. Now, if you want to hunt, that's on you. I'm not going to be the type of people that want to ban it. 
I'm the kind of, I'm the type of person like if you want to do it, that's on you. Your life, that's what makes you happy. Be happy. I don't care. But play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. That's just how I see it. So you want to be out there with the lion, tigers, and wolves? Then go out there and be my guest. But anyway. That's going to be it for my reaction, y'all. If you enjoyed this reaction, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll be back with you guys next time. I'm out.